Here's a video on my setup with the HD SDR connected to an SDR Play 1. Uh, SPR 1? H <laughs> uh, SDR Play RSP 1. And that and the K3 are connected to the same antenna. They share an antenna and the frequency and modes are common to both of them. So when I change the frequency uh, on the K3, it also changes here. And when I change this, it also changes on the K3. What you're seeing in the waterfall display here is from 14.220 up to 14.262 and we can widen that out so there's from uh, 13 what 325 up to 15.200 or we can zoom right in and see the individual single sideband signals this this line here is just a different way of representing the uh, waterfall it's sort of an instantaneous thing down here we have the audio waterfall and the audio bandpass and with this line I can change the bandwidth of the receiver and these modes follow what's selected on the K3 so right now, we are listening to the audio of the HDSDR. And let's narrow up the bandwidth here down to about 2.7. And I can just click and listen to a single sideband. And I can tune with the mouse wheel. About 50 miles south of Washington, D.C. there, Terry. And, and um, oh, it's, a, it's a partly cloudy day here. It's about 40 degrees. So yesterday it was 65 and sunny. And it just goes to show you just stick around a day, right? Anyway, uh, back to you, Terry. Uh, Victor Alpha 7 Echo Zoo, W9P. And I can click on another signal. Let's click on this guy. So here's the here's the bandwidth that we have selected. Now let's widen this up. And we can see his bandwidth is just about 2.8. And here's his audio. Okay, so now let's listen to the the K3. But pretty good. About five by eight to nine, Gary. Over. Yeah, I'm turning the antenna now. It's pointed towards South Africa. Um, yeah, I'm sure you'll come up just fine. Uh, I've actually got, I'm using a Yaesu 5000 at the moment. And I do have a Flex 6700 here. And of course, I can change the bandwidth on the K3. That's completely separate from the HDSDR. The only thing that's linked is the frequency and the mode. And they're not quite synchronized. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's
the HDSDR takes a little bit longer to get through because of the processing. Looks like there's a lot of activity in the band. We got uh, 14160. And here's another signal, another signal, another signal, another, 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 uh, 14280. Uh, yeah, it's busy for a Friday afternoon. Okay, so let's see what CW is like. Fourteen oh thirty two. Let's switch to CW. You now I've got the filter pretty narrow. Let's widen it out on the HDSDR. And if I zoom in on the waterfall, we can see here's the individual signal. Let's tune to him. Boy, there's two signals right there. And then if I click right on that peak, it'll tune the HTSDR. <laughs> and he stops transmitting. There he is. And then it looks like there's some weaker signals here. Let's try tuning to this one. There is a noise reduction. Noise blanker. CW pitch 700. I need to change that to 750 because the K3 is set for. Seven hundred and I don't remember where it is. There's an awful lot of settings on this. That's right where I was. Oh well, it's in here somewhere. <laughs> ah! There we go. Okay, so that's pretty much what there is. It's pretty neat. Um, can change a lot of things. We can uh, slow down the display and we can speed it up. Rig. Kenwood. TS-570. Okay. Enough about that. Uh, if you want to see more, let me know. Uh, I plan some future videos with uh, CW Skimmer and also transmit testing with uh, Tutone. Stay tuned.